5 Bizarre Theories About the Earth That People Believe Number 5. Lemuria and Atlantis We are going to focus mainly on Lemuria here, but it'd be foolish not to mention both of the so-called missing continents that people have theorized for years simply must have existed because, well, we're not entirely sure why. Either way, just like Atlantis, Lemuria was said to have been a giant landmass located in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and in both cases one of the primary reasons for the creation of the theory of these lost continents was to explain how similar species could exist on two landmasses so far from one another. Number 4. Geoderapinism Theory Don't look now, but according to some, we are living on the back of a giant turtle. We might also be living on the back of an elephant or a serpent, but let's stick with turtles for now, because the cosmic turtle is the most widely recognized belief in this particular category. The great turtle myth was first brought to the public's attention in the 17th century, after a man named Jasper Dackertz learned of it from several tribes of Native Americans he encountered. The Native Americans, however, are not the only ones who believe that the world rested on the shell of a giant turtle as the myth is also prevalent in Chinese and Indian culture. All we know is that if we have to live on the back of a giant turtle, we hope he's got a lot more Michelangelo in him than Raphael, because sure, he's cool, but he's also just so rude. Number 3. Tectonic Strain Theory Unlike other theories on this list, which are meant to explain the Earth itself and the various events that have taken place over the millennia, Tectonic strain theory sets out to explain something otherworldly. Namely, UFO sightings throughout history. Not only UFOs, mind you, but also ghosts, spontaneous combustion, and basically anything else that are thought of as otherwise inexplicable events. Tectonic strain was theorized by Professor Michael Persinger in 1975 and suggests that every UFO sighting and basically unexplained phenomena people claim to have seen can be explained away by electromagnetic fields that occur when the Earth's crust strains near seismic faults. According to Persinger, these amp fields create hallucinations, which are based on images from popular culture. That sounds like a really roundabout way of blaming something on TV, if you ask us. Number 2 Contracting Earth Theory Contracting Earth Theory, or geophysical global cooling if you want to get all science why about it, was a theory before the idea of plate tectonics ever came about that said the Earth is actually getting smaller over time, and the shrinking Earth is what causes natural disasters as well as the natural wonders of nature, such as mountain ranges. The idea is that the Earth consists of molten rock, and as the interior of the Earth cools and contracts, so too does the surface, leading to mountains springing up left and right, often turning into volcanoes when the planet needs to vomit up whatever it can't keep down in its own Earth version of a stomach. The theory has in fact been used in real, bona fide scientific research, notably by a guy named Professor Edward Swiss in order to explain an earthquake. We know what you're thinking, and the answer is no, that's not the same Dr. Swiss, because the name is spelled differently and also because the guy who wrote Green Eggs and Ham couldn't have possibly been that dumb. Number 1. Flat Earth Theory the famous wacky theory about the Earth is also one that at this point is pretty much universally known to be completely, unequivocally untrue, yet believe it or not, there are some folks who have perpetuated the idea with modern Flat Earth Theory. These people make up the Flat Earth Society which came about in 1956 and actually still exists. These are the people who believe that, despite all scientific evidence to the contrary, the Earth is, in fact, flat. In 1980, a member of the Flat Earth Society named Charles Johnson actually managed to get an article published in Science Digest in which he claimed that the Earth must be flat, because otherwise there would be curvature on bodies of water like Lake Tahoe, and to the best of his knowledge, there was no evidence that the water was anything other than flat. Never mind photographic evidence from space showing the Earth to be spherical, a flat surface on a lake is enough evidence for us. <laughs>